there are two really important levels of checking your work inside of XML and really inside of any structured uh, representation language, and those are the levels of well-formed and the levels of valid. Let's start with their level of well-formed. Well-formed means obeys all the rules of syntax of the language, and of course for us the language is the language of XML. And XML has certain rules, for example, that all tags that open must close, that um, all attributes must be quoted, that the nesting levels can't be broken, that is, you have to close the child level before you close the parent level of nesting. Those are the rules of syntax, including other things like how do you name tags, the fact that a space, uh, the space goes between the tag name and the attribute name, et cetera. All of those things are rules of syntax. They're the sort of basic rules that allow you to say that your XML file can be parsable by an XML processor. That means an XML processor can clearly see where one tag begins and another tag ends, what the value of the attribute is, what's a child of, of each parent, etc. So the idea of well-formedness is the idea that your XML document obeys the basic rules of syntax that allows it to be opened and parsed by an XML processor. So that's level one. You really can't get anywhere until your document is well-formed. And so as you're working with XML, remember first to be well-formed to make sure that all of the simple rules of XML are being followed before you go on to any of the more sophisticated rules. What are those sophisticated rules? Well, I think you probably know by now that the sophisticated rules of XML are all contained inside a schema. The word we have for works according to the schema, works according to the rules of the schema, is valid. If the file is valid, that means it obeys, in addition to the rules of well-formedness, the rules of validity that are defined specifically in the schema. The rules of well-formedness are the rules regardless of what schema you're using. They're always the same rules. They're always those same basic rules of naming and structure. But the rules of uh, validation, that is the rules that are in the schema, vary based on schema. And that's how you'd like it to be. The very basic rules are the rules that say, if it's going to be XML at all, here's how it's going to have to be. The more sophisticated rules, the validation rules that happen inside of a schema and are applied to an instance, are the rules such as how many of each tag? What specific tags are allowed? Is this tag name allowed versus that tag name? What exact parentage is allowed? What order do things come in? What data types must each of, those, each of the different elements and attributes be? Those are the further rules. Those are the rules of validation. So we have well-formedness and validation. The well-formedness is the basic rules of XML that all instances have to follow, and the validity rules are the additional rules that, that a file has to, has to obey if it's going to be um, based on a particular schema. Okay, so level one rules, level two rules. The way I kind of like to think about this is um, similar to the way that babies learn to speak. If you've ever listened to a baby before, it's, before it can actually make sentences, it'll make babbling sounds. And babbling sounds are the sounds that mimic the general syntax of the language but have no particulars in them. They don't, they're, not, they're not valid sentences, but they do mimic, this, mimic the syntax of a sentence. Like, for example, the sentence, nah, 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 nah. that sentence, which a baby might utter, has the basic pattern, the basic prosody of the English language, but doesn't have any actual content in it. It follows the well-formedness rules of a sentence in English. Nah, 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 nah. Right? That's a well-formedness rule of the English language, but it doesn't form any content. If we were to add the content, then it would also be a valid English sentence. Like, I want to go to the park now. Na 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 na. That's valid content. That's content that not only follows the general rules of how is an English sentence to be in general formed, but it follows the specific rules that are different from one sentence to another and that cause it to be valid. So we have well-formed and valid.